It is the nature of roots to nose into cracks. When Y was thus released from the parent ledge, a new animal had arrived and begun redding up the prairie to fit his own notions of law and order. An ox team turned the prairie sod, and Y began a succession of dizzy annual trips through a new grass called wheat. The old prairie lived by the diversity of its plants and animals, all of which were useful because the sum total of their cooperations and competitions achieved community. But the wheat farmer was a builder of categories. To him, only wheat and the oxen were useful. He saw the useless pigeons settle in clouds upon his wheat and shortly cleared the skies of them. He saw the cinch bugs take over the stealing job and fumed because here was a useless thing too small to kill. He failed to see the downward wash of over loam laid bare in spring against the pelting rains. When soil wash and cinch bugs finally put an end to wheat farming, Y and his lake had already traveled far down the watershed. When the empire of wheat collapsed, the settler took a leaf from the old prairie book. He impounded his fertility and livestock. He augmented it with nitrogen pumping alfalfa, and he tapped the lower eight layers of the loam with deep army engineers built levees and wing dams to flush it from the rivers. The rivers would not flush, weapon but raised wash, their beds instead, to hold thus the choking power, navigation. But also so the engineers built ones. pools like gigantic beaver ponds, and Y landed in one of these. His trip from rock to river completed in one short century. On first reaching the pool, Y made several trips through water plants, fish, and waterfowl but the engineers build sewers as well as dams, and down them comes the loot of all the far hills and the sea. The atoms that once grew pasc flowers to greet the returning plovers now lie inert, confused, imprisoned in oily sludge. Roots still nose among the rocks. Rains still pelt the fields. Deer mice still hide their souvenirs of Indian summer. Old men who helped destroy the pigeons still recount the glory of the fluttering hosts. Black and white buffalo pass in and out of red barns, offering free rides to itinerant atoms.